Uh, in our last uh, video, uh, we have started our new chapter that is analysis of algorithm. Uh, in that we discuss the basics of uh, analysis of algorithm. What is analysis? Uh, different approaches of uh, analysis like uh, empirical method, uh, theoretical method and uh, hybrid approach. Then we uh, discuss about what is the time complexity and space complexity. Uh, then we discuss something about what is frequency count is. Now in this uh, today's video, we are going to discuss uh, frequency count in detail. Uh, so let us start our today's video uh, analysis of algorithm in that uh, what is frequency count and how we can find time complexity through frequency count. Frequency count is a very simple method in that uh, we are going to find uh, how many time particular operation is going to executed. Right? So for example, in our algorithm four different operations are there, then how many time uh, first operation is going to executed? how many times second operation is going to execute it, likewise how many times third and fourth operation are going to execute it. That we are going to identify and this process is known as frequency count. Based on the frequency count, uh, we can also identify time complexity. How it is possible, let us discuss with one example. Suppose we have one algorithm and the name of the algorithm is suppose display. In this display algorithm, we are declaring suppose the three variable, variable A, B and C. Then after we are performing different operation on A, B and C, suppose first operation is A is equal to 10. This is our first operation. There is assignment operation. We are assigning value 10 inside the A. Second operation B is equal to 20. Again, it is assignment operation. C is equal to A plus B. It is operation addition between two number. And third one, we are displaying value on the output screen. So we have a different four different operation in this case. We have to identify how many time particular operation is going to execute it. It is simply known as frequency count. So let us uh, find frequency count of this algorithm. As we discuss, integer a, b, and c. Here it is a declaration of variable. So it is a simply known as the declaration part. Then after different four operations are there and these four operations are known as executable part. So normally we are considering executable part when we uh, find the frequency count of the algorithm. So in this case a is equal to 10. This is the first operation. We are just assigning value a in, uh, 10 into the a. So find out how many times a is equal to 10 is going to execute it. So from this algorithm here we are not using any loop. So simply we can say a is equal to 10 will be executed only once. Right. Likewise, B is equal to 20. This is our second operation and it is also executed only once. Then after third operation, C is equal to A plus B addition between two number. It is also going to execute it only once. And last operation that is displaying value on the output screen. It is also going to execute it only once. Right. So then after just find total frequency count of this algorithm, that is 4. One thing you have to return here, that is, uh, when we have a frequency count in constant value, here in this case it is 4, it is a constant value. If, uh, whenever it is a constant value, either it is 4, 10, 20, 1000, 1 lakh, whatever. But if it is constant, then the time complexity of this particular constant value is known as order of what? Right? So this symbol you need to return. Whenever this frequency count is numeric value or we can say it is a constant, at that time our time complexity will be order of 1. So simply we can say for this algorithm, the time complexity of this algorithm is order of 1. It means it is a constant time complexity. All these statements are going to execute it only once in this case. So that the time complexity of this particular algorithm is order of 1. Let us take another example in that we are using loop. Suppose we have a, a one algorithm in that we are assigning value for example i is equal to 1. This is the first operation we are uh, performing i is equal to 1. Then after there is one loop and loop has a one condition that is i less than or is equal to n. It means that this loop will be executed n times. Inside the loop we have a two operation x is equal to x plus 1. It is the increment value of x. Then after i is equal to i plus 1 again the increment the value of i. This two operation we are as, uh, we are uh, having inside the loop. So we have to just identify how many times this particular loop is going to execute it. It is n time. 
So simply we can say x is equal to x plus 1 will be executed n times, i is equal to i plus 1 will be executed n times. But for every statement, for every operation, we have to identify a frequency count. So let us find frequency count of every statement. Or statement number 1, that is our first operation, i is equal to 1. So when we think about i is equal to 1, how many times i is equal to 1 is going to be executed? Only once, because it is outside the loop. So, will be executed only once. Second operation is i less than or is equal to n. This is the condition. Whenever this condition is true, then will be executed inner part or will enter inside the loop. Otherwise, will exit outside the loop. Whenever this condition is false, will not enter inside the loop, will be outside the loop. So, that i less than or is equal to n, we need to identify how many time particular condition is going to check. So when we think about i less than or is equal to n, then this condition will be checked n plus 1 time. Now the question is why it is n plus 1? Why it is not n times? So let us discuss how many times this condition is going to check. When the well, Suppose the value of n is equal to 3, right? And the value of i is equal to 1. So, when the value of i is equal to 1, at that time, 1 less than or is equal to 3. The value of n is equal to 3 and first time the value of i is equal to 1. So, when the value of i is equal to 1, 1 less than or is equal to 3, the condition is true. When the value of i is equal to 2, second time, at that time, 2 less than or is equal to 3. So, again, the condition is true. When the value of i is equal to 3, then 3 less than or is equal to 3. So again the condition is true. When the value of i is equal to 4, at that time 4 less than or is equal to 3, condition is false. Right? So we need to check how many times i less than or is equal to n will be checked. Right? When the value of i is equal to 1, then 2, then after 3, then after 4. It means that this condition will be checked 4 times. And the value of n is equal to 3. So it is 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So this condition will be uh, executed. This condition will be checked n plus 1 time. Right? So i less than or is equal to n. The frequency count is n plus 1. Now inside the loop we have a two statement. x is equal to x plus 1 will be executed n times only. Because it is the inner uh, inside the loop. And loop will be executed n times. So the frequency count of x is equal to x plus 1 is n. Likewise, the frequency count of i is equal to i plus 1 it is again n. Now find out total frequency count of this algorithm. Then we can say it is 3n plus 2. Now uh, written another thing. When we have a multiple terms in our frequency count, at that time we have to identify based on the power. Right? The term which has the highest power, that term we need to identify from this frequency count. For example, here two value, one is 3n and second one is 2. Out of these two, which has the highest power? So 2 is a constant and here 3n, n has one power, right? And 2 is a constant. So out of these two, we can say this value is larger and the power is 1. Right? So, that simply we, uh, we have to identify this term and this term is suppose 3n. Remove this constant value 3 in this case, then we have n only. So, the time complexity of this algorithm is order of n. Again, I am repeating, when we find the time complexity in terms of order based on the frequency count, at that time we have to identify maximum term which has the highest power. Right? So, in this case, we have only one term 3n which has some power n raised to 1, right? And the power is n raised to 1, that is a 1, right? So, simply we can say the time complexity of this algorithm is order of n. Normally, constant value we are ignoring when we uh, find the time complexity in terms of order, right? So, the order of n is the time complexity of this algorithm. Let us take one another example. Suppose we have a nesting of loop, loop within the loop, right? So we have a two for loop in this case for i is equal to 1, i less than or is equal to n, i plus plus. This is the outer loop. 
inner loop j is equal to 1 j less than is equal to n j plus plus and inside the inner loop we have one operation that is x is equal to x plus 1 so simply we can say when this outer loop will be executed only once at that time inner loop will be executed n times and so that this statement x is equal to x plus 1 will be executed n times right whenever outer loop will be executed n times inner loop will be executed n times then how many times this particular operation is going to execute it? n raised to 2 times right this is the simple funda let us uh, find the uh, uh, time uh, frequency count of this algorithm for every statement here the value of i is equal to 1 will be executed only once so the frequency count is 1 as we discussed previously i less than or is equal to n will be executed n plus 1 times so the frequency count is n plus 1 for the i plus plus definitely will be executed n times so the frequency count is n now inside this for loop another for loop is there that is j j is equal to 1 will be executed only once but it is inside the loop so that when this loop will be executed n times every time j will be executed once so the total time complexity or total frequency count of j is equal to 1 will be n likewise j less than is equal to n will be executed n plus 1 time but outer loop will be executed n time so the frequency count total frequency count of j less than or is equal to n will be n into n plus 1 time same j plus plus will be executed n times but outer loop will be executed n times so the total fre uh, frequency count of j plus plus one, uh, plus plus uh, will be n into n times now this inner loop has a one statement one operation that is x is equal to x plus 1 so as i said this x is equal to x plus 1 will be executed n raised to 2 time or we can say n into n time so find out total frequency of this algorithm that is 3 into n raised to 2 plus 4 n plus 2 so as i said uh, in our previous example we have a uh, different terms like uh, 3 n raised to 2 then 4 n and then after 2 so 2 is a constant we have a two term which has some power for example 4 n n raised to 1 so here power is 1 here in this case 3 into n raised to 2 the power is 2 so find the term which has a maximum power so this term 3 raised to n sorry 3 into n raised to 2 has the highest power so we have to consider this term to find the time complexity in terms of order right and as i previously said we have to ignore constant value so in this case 3 into n square we are ignoring constant 3 so we have now only one term that is n raised to 2 so the time complexity of this algorithm uh, in terms of order is order of n raised to 2 or we can say n square in next video we will again continue with uh, analysis of algorithm uh, we will discuss uh, best case worst case and average case analysis of any algorithm so uh, thank you for uh, watching this video thank you thank you very much